Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today on uh, pneumonia. It is a continuation of, of the past lecture. In the past lecture, we have learned the pathogenesis of pneumonia. Now, let us learn about the classification of pneumonia and how it works. So, classification pneumonia is divided into two types. First, let me draw the lung so that you will understand how pneumonia is classified. classified. So, if this is the lung, okay. So, in the lung, we have uh, two things. One, if you just, uh, you know, if you just uh, magnify this part, you will have different alveoli. One, you will have alveoli. This is the alveoli, okay. And you will also have the blood vessel, okay. Think that this is the blood vessel, okay. So, this is the alveoli, okay. And this is the interstitium. The space between the alveoli is interstitial space. Okay. So, the pneumonia can be, the infection can be in the alveoli or in the interstitial space. So, this is called as air space pneumonia. So, we can classify it as either air space pneumonia or interstitial pneumonia. Okay. If it's air space pneumonia, what is air space pneumonia? Air space pneumonia is pneumonia in the alveoli. So this is air space pneumonia. The, the all the fluid you know, pneumonia and all the inflammatory exudate is in the air spaces. That is in the alveoli. So that is air space pneumonia. Uh, interstitial pneumonia when the uh, inflammation is in the interstitium, then it is called as interstitial pneumonia. Now, air space pneumonia can again be divided into two types. So, air spaces that is alveoli are uh, involved. In interstitial pneumonia, alveoli are not involved. Only the interstitium is involved. Whereas in air space pneumonia, only the alveoli are involved, not the interstitium. Okay. So, air space pneumonia can be of two types. One is, so air spaces are of two types. If you see, air spaces are uh, bronchi, air spaces include the bronchi, bronchioles and all the small bronchioles and alveoli. Okay. So, air space pneumonia is one called as lobar pneumonia where a part of the lobe is involved. If this is the lobe, this part of lobe is involved. Okay. In this, bronchi are not affected. Only the alveoli is in, involved. In the second one is bronchopneumonia. So, in bronchopneumonia, mainly the bronchi are involved. So, this is the bronchi. So, pneumonia involving the bronchi is bronchopneumonia. So, these are the two different types of pneumonia. That is lobar pneumonia, bronchopneumonia and air space pneumonia and interstitial pneumonia. So, this is about the classification of pneumonia. Thank you guys for watching my lecture. In my next class, I will explain about each type of pneumonia in detail. So, thank you for watching my lecture. Thank you.